Welcome back to Film It Friday. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make videos every single week about video and photography related products, reviews, tips, and tricks. So if you like that kind of thing, why not hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Today, we're gonna to be talking about mice. Wild. But not just any mice, we're going to be taking a look at the best mouse for video editing. We've got three mice to talk about, so let's get into the video. We've got three contenders for the best mouse for video editing, general productivity, and overall comfort. Now, I've been through quite a lot of mice. I've started off with really cheap ones and worked my way up to get more expensive ones. But where do you start? I'm going to show you three of my favorite mice and why I like them. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best mouse out of the three. So the first mouse we're going to be talking about is the Logitech MX Master, and it's generally regarded as the best mouse you can buy for video editing, photo editing, design, CAD work. But to be honest, I'm not that impressed with it. Don't get me wrong, it is a nice mouse. You've got a customizable button at the top. You've got a really fluid jog wheel on the top. You've got another wheel on the side, two more customizable buttons there, and you've also got a customizable button where your thumb sits. But to be honest, I don't find it that accurate. I don't find it that comfortable, and it has been disconnecting quite a lot on me. I bought this after I watched a video about it, and I thought, yeah, that's for me. I like customizable stuff. You know, if you watch my YouTube channel a lot, that I like peripherals to do with video editing and anything that will make my life quicker and easier. Now, this is probably the first video on YouTube with somebody saying they actually don't like the MX Master. And the reason that I bought another mouse is because it was disconnecting all the time. If I was trying to do video editing, it was just jumping across the screen. That might be to do with where my computer's placed, but I didn't have that problem with the other two options. So I was getting really fed up with my MX Master and I thought, what can I do? What, what shall I buy instead? When I saw a post on Facebook showing one of the... one of these bad boys. This is the Kensington, I'm gonna take that out of there because it's just gonna fall out again. This is the Kensington Trackball Mouse. I saw it on Facebook on one of my friend's pictures and I thought, ooh, that looks like an interesting device. Um, and all these buttons around the outside are customizable along with a jog wheel. So if you are video editing, you wanna zoom in or you wanna scrub through your timeline, you can absolutely set that wheel to do that for you. So this bottom palm rest comes off as well, so you can just use this as a standalone unit, but it is more comfortable with the palm rest attached. So let's talk about why I bought this after going from the MX Master. Um, it looked really comfortable. I struggle quite a lot with RSI, especially when video editing for long periods of time, and I thought the ball motion might help with that. So I set it all up ready, I customized all the buttons to do exactly what I wanted them to do, and I didn't have any connectivity issues with the trackball like I did with the MX Master, but when I came to actually edit with it, it was really awkward. I did edit an entire wedding video with it just to give it a really fair chance, but it's just not for me either. The trackball is just not as precise as I'd like it to be, um, and you can adjust the sensitivity in the software, but for me, this was just a no-go, so I went back to my Logitech MX Master. So now we're on to the third mouse. Let me tell you how I discovered it. I am a massive fan of the Shuttle Pro version 2. This little thing over here, I can't pull it out any further because that's as long as the cord will reach. And it's made by a company called Contour Design. I went to the photography show in March? I want to say March. I think it was March. I made a video on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Have a look. Um, and I talked to the guys at Contour Design and they introduced me to this. Oh. This is the Contour Uni Mouse and it is definitely 100% the best mouse I have ever used. Ever. Coming from the MX Master, which feels quite accurate and small and nimble, this feels like an extension of your hand. It is the most comfortable unit I have ever used in my life. You've got a left click, you've got a double click and a right click, and you've got a nice jog wheel again in the side. You've got two customizable buttons on the left hand side, very similar to the MX Master, but something you don't get is the ability to change the position that your hand sits in. So you could have it there, or you could angle it down, you could have it more flat, or you can go completely flat 
and you can literally customize the way that you work. So it's not just about customization with the Contour Uni Mouse. It feels different to any mouse that I've ever used. And I'm struggling putting it into words how good it feels to use this mouse. I've had this on my desk for about a month and a half and I've not been tempted to go back to either the trackball or the MX Master. I did take the MX Master to New York with me when I was doing some filming out there, but that was because I didn't want to damage my precious Uni Mouse. Uh, something I forgot to mention as well is this thumb piece actually. So when you're doing, when you're opening and closing it, you've got that control, but you've also got control over where this thumb piece sits. So it actually fits your hand. That's the best way to describe it. It fits your hand perfectly and you can set it in any position that you want to. It's also really, really accurate and you can change the sensitivity with a hardware button on the front of the mouse itself. So you've got complete control over whatever you're working on. So in conclusion, I'm going to score each mouse out of 10 on video editing, productivity and general comfort. So the Logitech Master, I would give video editing, uh, I would go a 7. It's, it's strong, but it's not perfect. Productivity, it's good because you've got lots of functionality, you've got lots of customization, so I'd give it an eight. And on general comfort, I reckon I would give it an eight as well. So the Kensington Trackball, I'm gonna do the same thing, score it out of 10. So for video editing, to be honest, it was hard work. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 for video editing. Productivity, Great, again, you've got these customizable buttons. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And for general comfort, it is actually comfortable to use, although your fingers do get a little bit tired moving the trackball around. Something I would imagine that would get better in time. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 as well. So the Unimouse by Contour, uh, you can probably tell already that I love it and I am going to be sticking with it until Contour brings something else out that I need to buy. Um, so for video editing, it's a dream. It's so accurate. It's so effortless and customizable so you can get a lot done. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for video editing. For productivity, um, it's not quite as customizable as the MX Master, but it just feels like an extension of your hand. That's the best way I can put it. So I'm gonna give it the same score, an eight out of 10. And for general comfort, it is amazing. It's so comfortable, I can't even describe. So it's gonna get a 10 out of 10. The links for all three mice are going to be in the video description. Thanks for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you make your mind up on which mouse you're going to buy for video editing, productivity and general use. Um, if you like the video, please consider pledging to me on Patreon. You can pledge for as little as $5 a month and that really helps me out. It helps me buy better cameras, better audio, better lighting and generally supports my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you again next week.